Okay, so inside the nucleus atom, we've got protons and neutrons. Now, the protons are positive, so they're going to repel each other. And that's what we call the electrostatic force. Okay, and it's quite repulsive, and it's pushing the nucleus apart. So what keeps the nucleus together? Okay, so this is where the strong nuclear force comes in. The strong nuclear force acts between protons and protons, and neutrons and neutrons, and protons and neutrons. So it basically acts between all nucleons, and it's going to be attractive. However, it's only attractive when the distance between the nucleons is 0 0.5 femtometers and 3 femtometers. If it's, the distance is smaller than 0 0.5 femtometers, it's actually repulsive. Now, this ensures that the nucleons don't go into each other. Uh, at range, at distances bigger than 3 femtometers, it's actually really weak, the strong nuclear force. This is because the strong nuclear force is what we call a, a short-range force. So it doesn't act over large distances, only um, over short distances. Here's a graph showing how the strong nuclear force varies with distance. So as you can see here, less than 0 0.5 femtometers is repulsive. And then between 0 0.5 and 3 is attractive. Yep. And then beyond that, uh, 3 femtometers and higher is just non-existent, basically. It's just so weak that uh, it's not there. Okay, so the balance of these two forces, the electrostatic force and the strong nuclear force, keeps the nucleus stable. But not all the nucleus. So if the nucleus is too large and the distances between them, uh, between the nucleons becomes very large, you can see the electrostatic force is going to win over now. So it's, it's going to be bigger. So that means the nucleus is going to start falling apart. It won't be stable. So this is why large nuclei tend to can become unstable.